farm grew from when I came back to farm with my dad in 1974. We farmed 650 acres. Today we're pushing 6,500 acres. So we've grown basically tenfold over those years. Uh, back then we raised a lot of livestock. Had ran a cow calf herd of 100 to 150 head of cows. Like I say, Brandon runs the farm. I'm here as a, I'm the consultant, shall we say, the uh, the dad. So that's really the, the impetus I've had, you know, my dad let me take over and farm on my own and that's just the way we've done it. So today it's, it's a, it's a father-son operation, but the son runs the operation. My daughter's Misty and my son's Brandon, uh, three years apart, Misty the oldest. Fortunately, all of us lived here close. Anyway, got older, uh, Gail and I met 12 years ago, roughly. And, and when I married Martin Ray, I married a farmer and um, I had to learn how to be a farmer's wife. Gayla has two daughters, Whitney and Shaylee, and we're, we're enjoying them getting married now. So we're going through the wedding phase, and then after that, we're gonna be empty nesters. You know, having national exposure and, and then coming up, actually my career at corn growers had, had timed out, so I was looking, kind of looking for something to do. Uh, Brandon was glad to have me back on the farm, but yet he thought maybe dad needed something to do. So, so I saw the opportunity with the Trump administration, when, when President Trump got elected and they sent out a call, you know, 2012 with the drought, frankly, if it hadn't been for crop insurance, we might not have kept going. I mean, it was, 2012 was a tough year and, and crop insurance kept us whole. And so I had a real interest in that. So I applied, uh, they had a website called greatagain.gov and we, we, I applied, uh, sent it in. The, the HR folks called and said, you're the one. So this was in, late February of, of 2018. Uh, Gayla and I had to figure out, how do we do this? You know, I mean, it's a, quite a challenge, to say the least, to, to leave your family, go to DC. You have to live there because you gotta be in, that's your duty station, you have to live there every day. So I feel like, you know, it was an opportunity to do things and help folks across the country and just really honored to have that opportunity. I'm very proud of my husband. He's never ever stopped learning and he's never ever stopped teaching other people and his son and the ways of the new. March 8th of 2021, we got a call from my, we were in town and got a call from my daughter-in-law and she said, Brandon wanted me to call you, the shop's on fire and it's bad. So Gail and I, we ran out here and sure enough, the shop was on fire and, and we we'll, was really the biggest, I want to say the most devastating thing we've had other than, than, and then crop challenges over the years. I mean, we've been through 83 and 88 and 2012 and on all the, you know, the drought. You know, the fire brought us, kind of brought us together a little better. Uh, we, you know, it's like everybody was worried of who's going to blame who and it's like, it happened. You can't change it. Can't go back. We just, let's go forward. We did a lot of research and studying on how we wanted to build it. And, but now here we sit today, we're building this new beautiful shop that, that we're fortunate enough to be able to build and looking forward to getting it completed and, and maybe hopefully soon getting some heat in here and, and we will get it filled up again. I think what makes my husband a master farmer is that he has always been so involved and always willing to even learn more. I think he's intelligent and, and knows what he's doing and he's confident in what he's saying and teaching everyone. So he's done everything. Being a master farmer is, is an honor that I've, I've seen a lot of my peers over the years get and, and to even be nominated to be a master farmer to me was, was a, an honor. Uh, to be named in a master farmer was, was even a greater honor. I mean, I've, Yes, I've given a lot of my time over the years to, to my industry, and I, I think this probably somewhat recognizes that, and, and to me that's really important, and that's really the most, to me the most important thing about of being named Prairie Farmer, Master Farmer.